This video is all about helping you produce amazing character explainer videos. I'm gonna show you how to get the elements and how to put these type of videos together really fast. Hey, what's going on internet? This is Josh Noel from Sunduck Film. Welcome to our channel. If you're new here, be sure to hit that subscribe button. Creating explainer video content with characters can seem you know, very challenging, but after watching this video, I promise you're gonna be like, wow, this is easy. But no worries, we're gonna break down this tutorial into several different parts. I'm gonna show you how to get the content and of course how to animate everything with Adobe Illustrator and Adobe After Effects. So let's jump in the tutorial and let's create something awesome. To get started on this type of animation, you're gonna need character models for Adobe Illustrator. You can download these for free. I will link this website in the description. I'll link to this file specifically where it's 120 characters for free uh, for you to use in your personal or learning projects. If you're doing paid projects, you're gonna have to buy this. And you're also gonna need to download a vector scene as well. So you can come here to the top and type in whatever you're looking for. You have a wide selection that you can download and then you'll be able to follow along with the tutorial member. You can just download our project files if you wanna follow along. I also suggest taking a look at Envato Elements, which is a subscription website. And it not only has vector objects, but also has category for music, uh, After Effects and Premiere Pro templates, stock video, and so much more under one subscription price. So I'll link that in the description. My link has a 70% off in the first month discount. So if you use my link, you save a little bit of money. And after downloading your files, you're gonna wanna go ahead and find the .eps file or the .ai file and open one of those in Adobe Illustrator. And as you see, I have my two files that I downloaded here in Adobe Illustrator and now I can get started with putting our scenes together. So we have our scene here and some characters to choose from. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna look through the characters that we have available to us. And when I find a character I want, I'm just gonna go ahead and select it. And I'm just gonna go ahead and copy it. You go to edit, copy. And before I paste my character in here, I'm gonna come here to the layers icon and I'm gonna come here to the bottom and create a new layer. I'm actually gonna create two new layers and I'm gonna grab one of those layers and paste my character in there. And hold down Alt on my keyboard, maybe also Shift, and this will allow me to make my character a little bit taller and I'll put it in a place where I wanna put our character. All right, so now we have our scene and our characters in here and what we can do is start isolating some of the other objects that we wanna animate. So perhaps we wanna animate the plants or the chairs. We can do that very easily by isolating this right here inside of Illustrator and then animating it in After Effects. It's really easy to do this. So what we do is we can open up our main objects panel here. Yours might say something a little bit different. You go into each of these layers and you start like hiding and see where these elements are at each individual letter and then keep going into those groups and you'll see I found the exact group that allows me to find all these elements and what I'm going to do is click on the group here that holds all these icons in here all these vector objects go to hamburger icon here at the top and click on release to layer sequence and this will put each object into its own layer and just bring this you know outside of the main objects group and now you'll be able to animate each of these layers very easily inside of After Effects really quick. And then before we move over to After Effects, what we're going to do is come here to our Artboards icon. If you don't see that, go to Window, Artboards. And I'm going to double click on this icon right here. And what I'm going to do is set our width a little bit further than 1920. Maybe I'll do 2100 and set the height to 1080. And what I'm going to do here is select all of our elements, hold down Alt on keyboard, and also Shift and bring this up. And I'm bringing this up just right to the edges there. So I'll have all that data there for later. So there is that. And when we're done, we go to file, save as, and save this as an Illustrator file. All right, so what we're gonna do now is take our Illustrator file, import it to the project window in here in After Effects. It's gonna ask you, how do you want to import it? Select composition, click okay. Then double click that composition that was created. And boom, here is our comp. Go up to composition, click on composition settings, and set the width back down to 1920. And the reason why we didn't set this to 1920 in Illustrator is because this bush would have been cut off and that's not good. All right, so let's talk about doing some quick in animations to bring in your scene. So what we're gonna do, the first thing we'll do is go to layer, new, null object. And we're gonna grab all of our layers here and you'll see the parent icon, parent that to the null object. And we'll just hit S on keyboard for scale and we'll add a keyframe for the null object scale. And we'll move forward in time, maybe six seconds to the end of the animation. And we'll just kind of create a zoom in on the scene. And this will just create a very generic, you know, push and dolly camera movement onto the scene. It'll look much better in a second when we add more animation. So start animating in some of these other elements. So we'll grab say our plant back here and we hit S on keyboard for scale. And we'll add a keyframe for this and we'll move that keyframe forward maybe by almost a second and set the scale down to 0%. And the plant is going to animate into the scene. But one thing we should do is make sure that plant layer is selected. Grab the pan behind tool here at the top. And you'll see the anchor points here in the middle. Drag that, drag that anchor point underneath the plant. So boom, now the plant is going to animate from that anchor point instead of from the middle of the comp. And you can easily apply this animation to other objects in your scene. For example, we have our chair here. We can do a different type of animation. We have PNG board for position. We'll add a keyframe for that. Move that keyframe forward in time. 
move the share maybe outside of the frame and select both keyframes, make it easy ease by hitting F9 on your keyboard. So now, boom, you're gonna have this chair animate into the scene and you can apply these animation concepts to other objects in your scene. And when you apply animations to other objects, it brings a little bit more attention to the beginning of the scene. And one thing I've done is I offsetted my layers here in the timeline in time so that everything doesn't come in at the same exact you know, moment. So as a little bit more character to it. And before we move further into our tutorial, I wanna give a shout out to our Motion Graphics Starter Pack extension, which is gonna help you save a tremendous amount of time with After Effects work. All right, so this is our Motion Graphics Starter Pack extension with 650 templates. We have motion graphics in here, animated background templates, social media animations, shape transitions, and of course, titles. And how this works is we can come through here, preview anything that we want to apply before we apply it. And when we find a template that we want, we just click on apply. And it automatically applies a full template into your current After Effects project. And we go into this template and for example, change out our titles really quick. And we have our control layer here, which allows us to make changes to adjust the titles and colors to everything to fit perfectly, however we see fit. And if we want, we can easily change the colors of everything and it automatically updates in our main composition. And we can take this even further with our accent motion graphics. We have over 160 of these in this pack and we come here to clusters, for example, and we'll apply a cluster. So now with a few clicks of a button, we now have a full title animation here, along with some accent graphics that help spruce up our composition and whatever we're working on. So a lot of options just in this one pack. And we have a handful of other packs that allow you to switch over to them very easily. So you can pick up more titles, animated backgrounds, um, and more off our website. So if you wanna save hours of time while of course producing awesome work for your clients and for your personal projects, I will drop our links below to our Motion Graphics Starter Pack and our other packs. If you do pick up anything off our website, you will be supporting our channel, so thank you very much. All right, the final technique to really bring the scene alive is the Puppet Pin Tool. It's a very basic way of doing easy vector animation. Not the best, but honestly, it works really well. So we're gonna do it. So what we'll do is grab the Puppet Pin Tool here, at the top and we'll grab our person we're gonna start doing some character animation what we're gonna do is double click the layer here in the timeline and we isolated this layer or this person uh, by itself and you notice they don't have any face that's because they would sue us if they had a face you know don't have their consent but if you don't get people's faces they won't sue you anyway uh, what we want to do is kind of just get a feel for this make sure at the beginning of your timeline and start adding points into your character and you'll get a little bit better with this as more time, you know, as you get more experience with it, but just add points randomly. And we can get a feel whether this works or not by grabbing one of the points and kind of moving it over and see if anything else kind of gets manipulated. Um, if it doesn't, that means you did a good job and just kind of add some points to where you want to animate from. Okay, so when you have a few points in here, what we'll do is move forward in time, maybe by like, I don't know, a second or so. And we'll just hit U on our keyboard. And what we'll do is grab one of these points and we'll just move it around. So this is gonna have an animation, but we'll also come here and maybe move our character's head a little bit, maybe the leg, you know, just add a little bit of animation. What's gonna happen is you're just gonna get the slight animation here. What I'm gonna do here is I'll click the stopwatch for the one of the animations that we just created. I'll click it and I'm gonna type in loop out with a capital O, open parenthesis, quotations, and ping pong will pop up here and make sure you have your expression without parentheses just like this. So your expression should look just like this. You can copy that expression and paste it to the other you know, animations you just created. Paste them right in there. So as you can see with the puppet pin tool and the loop out expression, you're able to apply these custom animations to your characters and other objects as well, and it'll go on forever. So if your video is 10 hours long, these animations will stay the same only with two keyframes. So you see applying it to the bushes here, it adds a lot more character and movement to the scene and draws a little bit more attention to your character explainer videos. So this will look straight if you have a voiceover, you can always add text as well to help you know your video even further if you need it. So that's our tutorial on creating character explainer videos right here with After Effects. You have all the techniques available to you now to produce awesome work. If you wanna learn a little bit more about this process, I'll drop a few more tutorials in the description if you want to just learn some other skills. So I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you're new here, be sure to hit that subscribe button because we post multiple post-production tutorials every single week right here on the channel. You can also hit me up on my social media networks those links are below and always be creating.